Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I have a very exciting Lush review slash comparison for you all. And this time I have the Ectoplasm Shower Screen. Now the Ectoplasm Shower Screen last made an appearance before 2021 uh, for the Halloween 2018 range, which was just a little bit before my time with Lush. I sort of started getting into Lush right at the end of 2018, early 2019. So this was something that I'd missed out on for many years. I'd heard many people in the Lush community talk about it, and a lot of people really, really love this product. And I found it exceptionally hard to find anyone selling it secondhand. I did eventually find someone selling it secondhand earlier this year. I mean, that's how long it took for me to find one. So it's been like, yeah, over two years to find someone who was willing to sell it. So I thought to myself, gee, this must be a really good product if it's taken me this long to find it. So this is the 2018 version here, um, you know, pretty fluorescent color. And then most recently, uh, it came back for the Christmas in July range for Lush Australia, which is a very sort of um, popular thing that Lush Australia does in our winter time in Australia. Um, we sort of miss those Christmas products and they came up with this genius idea to bring some old Christmas and Halloween favorites back. So they did that and here it is. Now this is also making an appearance for Halloween 2021. I have just got the news literally about an hour ago um, when I was scrolling through Instagram and that made me very, very happy. So if you are really liking the sound of my review and what I have to say, uh, you won't have to wait very long, maybe a couple of months until the Halloween range drops to get this for yourself. And the Halloween range drops all over the world. You don't have to order from the UK um, if you don't want to. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. So the ingredients list are, is exactly the same. The only difference is the almond oil on this one says Australian almond oil because this is an Australian made product, whereas my 2018 version is actually from the UK. Um, so the person who purchased this before me purchased it from the UK site. That's the only difference here. Uh, now the ingredients list, let me read it off this one because it's a bit more clearer, uh, is got water, sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium cocoa ampho acetate. We've got glycerine, fair trade organic cocoa butter, got the Australian almond oil, like I said, but it'll just be almond oil depending on your region. Um, it's got some alcohols and just some preserving type items. It's got tangerine water, uh, tangerine oil, mandarin juice, fresh grapefruit juice, fine sea salt, grapefruit oil, and let's say cubeba oil. So let's talk about the scent first and foremost. Now the scent is a citrus scent, as you would assume. I think it is one of the best citrus scents that Lush has ever done, just because it has that tangerine in there. And tangerine is just such a beautiful, juicy citrus scent, in my opinion. It sort of has that same sort of orangey scent that orange has, obviously. Uh, but tangerine's more sweet and it's more, um, yeah, it's just more soft, I would say, in terms of a citrus scent, whereas orange is a bit more whack in your face kind of citrus if that makes sense yeah now it does have grapefruit and let's say cubeba in there let's say cubeba is a well-known lemon sort of smell um, in perfumery and obviously cosmetics bath and body products and grapefruit is obviously quite a strong scent as well and it's quite a refreshing uplifting kind of citrus so i feel it sort of balances the tangerine out really well and sort of tones down the sweetness a touch, which is a nice little touch there. Now, there are definitely differences between the two. They're quite subtle, um, but I thought I would mention them anyway. There is definitely a difference in texture. The 2018 version is a lot thicker. Now, once again, this could just be because of the age of the product. Um, it could just be that it's been sitting there for ages and that's just the way it is. But because it's a shower screen, aka shower cream it is meant to be a thicker formula in general but this one is really thick it does take a bit of effort to get it out of the bottle um, but I did get there in the end whereas this one it's thick like a shower cream but it's not to the point where it's difficult to push it out of the bottle it does come out in sort of like um, very sort of like 
clearly defined lines if that makes sense when you press it out unlike a lush shower gel which sort of comes out and it turns into a blob as soon as you press it out because it's not super thick if that makes sense so yeah there is a definite difference in the texture um, obviously comment down below if you have had the 2018 version and it was really thick back then I have a feeling it was just from what people have told me but obviously you know you guys are great with giving me information and letting me know and I know a lot of um, older Lushies watch my channel which I'm very grateful for that because you guys give amazing information on older products which I love. Uh, there is also a very slight colour difference also, I'm not sure if that's just because this is a recycled bottle, um, but they're all recycled bottles really, but it could just be the colour of the recycled bottles a little bit darker. I'm really not sure, but the colour's pretty much the same. Another difference is the actual scent of the product, and I did mention this very briefly in my Christmas in July haul as well, just something that I noticed straight off the bat. This scent is more mild in the 2018 version. Once again, it could be because of the age of the product. Um, I noticed it was more mellow as well, like it didn't sort of change scent, whereas this one did change. I'll explain that in a second. Um, and there is a little bit of like a gluey kind of smell, which I also got from the Wash Behind Your Ears shower gel cream thing, which was released for Easter 2017. That's a very old one. Um, it has a very similar texture to this one here. Um, and that also has a little bit of like a gluey kind of smell. Smells like a glue stick, you know, like those glue sticks you got given when you were young in school to paste stuff with. Kind of that smell. So it doesn't smell super fake or anything, but it just has that sort of chemically smell. Not to the point where it's offensive, but just sort of like, oh, okay, I, there is a chemical smell there. Yeah, you get what I mean. Whereas the 2021 version, I did not smell any sort of chemical smell whatsoever. This was far sweeter in scent, um, especially like the initial part of the wash with this product. It was sweeter than this and stronger. But towards the end of it, I noticed that this became almost bitter in terms of the smell, which I was sort of like, oh, I don't really like that part of it. it you know how sort of citrus peel can often have that bitter taste like when you first sort of bite into some peel or something like that I don't know what I'm saying but you got you guys know what I mean like when citrus has that sort of bitter taste like the zest is quite bitter it sort of had that bitterness to it as well so I have a feeling it's just because there's quite a lot of scent in here and a lot of oil in here um maybe a little bit too much for what it should be if that makes sense but I do like the strong scented shower gels and that's what Lush does well. I mean, that's why we buy Lush in the first place really because they do scent really, really well. Um, so, you know, I can take the good with the bad on that one. So my overall thoughts. Okay, both shower gels, they're not perfect. Um, there are definite things that I would change. Um, I don't know how you could actually fix the scent of it to not be so bitter on the end. I think that's just the nature of certain citrus oils that they have that bitterness at the end of them but look I'm really just clutching at straws and being very nitpicky just for the purpose of um, sort of comparing and giving you an in-depth review basically I would give both of them four out of five um, I like them both for different reasons I like the mellow sort of scent of this the texture is a little bit thick for my liking but I prefer the scent of this minus the glue smell Whereas this one, I prefer the texture of it, the 2021, prefer the texture, not so much um, on the, uh, what's the word, scent, yes. The initial scent, beautiful, perfect, spot on, that bitterness afterwards, not so much. Now, I will obviously update the video to put Halloween 2021 in the um, title. If uh, I will actually just buy a Halloween 2021 version of this just once again for comparison I mean why not I will buy one I will test it out if there are any changes I will obviously let you know down below in the comments I will try and update you um if I do try it out and it is the same I'll just put that down below in the comments as well if I can remember to feel free to write a comment if it's around Halloween and I haven't remembered to do it uh just to remind me but yeah that's pretty much that so yeah look overall it's definitely still a great product. It's just 
not exactly what I look for um, in a shower cream product, but it is still one of the better incarnations of a lush uh, citrus scent. So there we go. Awesome. So thank you so, so much for watching this video and this sort of comparison between the two ectoplasms. Let me know what you think of ectoplasm or if you are going to pick it up and give it a try if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, and I do recommend sticking around uh, because I do a ton of Lush stuff on this channel. Um, yeah, I, I love reviewing Lush. I love looking at newer products, older products, a bit of everything. So if that sounds like your thing, uh, yeah, please consider sticking around. And until next time, take care and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.